So we're going to look at settings and the subjects. Sorry, I look completely different in the first video. Um, well, I've took my head down, so I'll probably look a bit hot. Um, I went out for a little shopping, done a bit of shopping for this course. <laughs> um, so, first thing we're going to look at is aperture. Now, pretty much in aperture, if we want to take a photo of a landscape, a that has got the sky that's got a background to it then you want to use less aperture um, and then if you want to take a photo of a flower so you don't want the background you'll use more aperture because it blurs the background um, shutter speed shutter speed the more shutter speed the more um, it allows you to freeze in the photo. So say if you're taking a photo of swimming, take a photo with the sports. If you want to take a photo of it in the action, in the good part, you add more shutter speed or higher shutter speed it says. The smaller it is, the more it adds blur so in here they've got like a waterfall but where they've done it on slow it looks like a cloud of smoke so okay viewfinder the viewfinder helps um, you see the el more important elements so it normally comes up with like loads of different squares or on my one at the moment is coming up with like a square so flash um, allows light into the subject so um, when taking a photo it's more brighter. Sensor sensitive, sensitivity sorry, will let you shoot in low light so if you have a high number it will let you shoot in low light so if you have a photo of a dark scene or a street with only um, the lights on, by the street lights on, then it will make it a bit more better and clearer. So using low is great for um, landscape, um, but you will need to use the tripod and all the accessories. Focusing helps when like with me it focuses on what you want to photo so if I put saying like the book in front of you it will focus more on the book where this is focusing on me so you can see me a lot clearer so it brightens out what you want to take photo of so that's that there's a photo there I'll show you of how a camera works so I'll show you a photo goes in there, hits that, and up there and then out into your screen. So yeah, bye.